Leading the news this morning, there's no end in sight to the diplomatic standoff over Julian Assange. Ecuador has now granted asylum to the WikiLeaks founder, but Britain is refusing to give him safe passage out of Ecuador's embassy. Foreign Secretary William Hague says Britain is legally obligated to extradite Mr Assange to Sweden to face sex crime allegations. At least seven people have been killed during clashes between police and striking miners in South Africa. Police opened fire after a group of miners carrying weapons defied an order to disperse. The Marikana Platinum Mine, north of Johannesburg, has been at the centre of a violent turf war between rival unions for the past week. A Black Hawk helicopter has crashed in Afghanistan, killing seven American and four Afghan soldiers. Taliban rebels claim they shot down the helicopter in the southern province of Kandahar. But a NATO spokesman says the cause of the crash is still being investigated. Back home and after days of passionate debate, legislation to reinstate offshore processing has been passed in both Houses of Parliament. The Greens were the only party to vote against it in the Senate. They failed to win an amendment placing time limits on offshore processing. A birth control pill for men could be one step closer to reality. American scientists have discovered a compound that may offer the first effective hormone-free treatment. When mice were given the compound, they produced fewer sperm, but it did not affect their sex drive. 